Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today is Craftsmas Season 3, Episode 19, and we have a fun one for you. We are going to be decorating this wood sign that I have painted with adhesive vinyl into a menu board for Thanksgiving. Now, the sign board, whenever I originally bought it, looked like this, and it came from, I think, Joanne. I don't see a price on it, but it, I don't think it was anything expensive. I think it was like $4.99 or something like that. So what I did is I took and painted the bulk of the sign with the Master's Touch Raw Umber, and I do have video on it, and then I dry rubbed some Titanium White by Master's Touch around the outside. So you're gonna need your file, which is available on my Patreon page for the $4 or more a month patrons, your vinyl, which were used in Oracle 651 in Coral, Lime Tree Green, White, and azura blue you're also going to need your transfer tape or application tape we are using the aura mask which is available on my website or aura tape application tape and your easy weed and wooden pick and a squeegee so if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle we will go over how to make this Okay, so as you can see, I have my board laid out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the base of it raw umber, which is just a brown color from Master's Touch. These are available at Hobby Lobby. I buy these when they're 50% off. They're regularly $4.99. So, I mean, they're nothing super expensive. So I'm just using a sponge brush and kind of painting the whole thing. I am gonna add some white to the edges just to kind of give it a little bit something extra, but probably not until after the brown dries. Okay. So as you can see, it's just something simple as that. I need to add a little bit more paint. But yeah, I love using the Master's Touch acrylic paints from Hobby Lobby. They're pretty good little paints, especially for doing projects like these. And I like to keep a lot of paint on hand for projects because you never know when you're gonna need them. Okay, so one thing as you can see I'm doing is I'm trying to keep the brush strokes going in one direction. But one thing I am doing is if you see with the sponge brush, I'm kind of squeezing it into the corners and edges because that helps with coverage. That's part of the reason why I do like a sponge brush for a lot of projects. But you know, to each their own and what they like everybody's different so go ahead and give myself a good coat of raw umber I think I need a tiny bit more okay and I enjoy the process of painting. I don't know about y'all, but I love painting, like doing this kind of stuff. It's relaxing to me. Now I get stressed out when I'm doing it on camera, but like to make projects and stuff like that when I'm not filming is just like a joy to me. Okay, so as you can see, just finishing out that stupid little corner that doesn't want to take the paint. Almost. That one little corner, why are you not wanting the paint? There we go. Okay. So, now everything has paint on it. 
So I'm just going back over, making sure the brush strokes are one direction and everything is smooth. There we go. So we're gonna let that dry and then we will come back and put the white on. Turn on lights too. Okie dokie. So as you can see, we got the brown on here and it's dry. So I'm gonna take first and get this glob of white paint off the top of my paint container. Okay, and squeeze just the tiniest bit on my sponge brush because what I'm wanting is I'm wanting this to be whitish, but not like white, white. That makes sense. I want it to kind of have that little bit of worn edge kind of look. So it has more of that homey feel. So as you can see, I'm just taking the ever so slightest bit of paint and just kind of dry brushing it over. There we go. Okay. So I like how that looks. See how it's not perfect. So we're going to leave it like that, let it dry, and then we're going to come back and apply our vinyl. Okie dokie. So as you can see, I have all my vinyl cut and laid out. I'm going to kind of trim around these a little bit uh, to make sure that it's pretty close. But I think that we're going to use the turkey as the first item on our menu board. And then I think we're going to use the sweet potato casserole. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of scotch tape, just a little bitty piece to tape the two together. Might tape over there and over there. Don't want to tape over that. There we go. That's better. Okay, then I think we're going to use rolls. So I want it to kind of be in order. And you have a few choices. Like there's green bean casserole. And you can create your own. It's just picking different kinds of fonts to pretty much make your own. And then last but not least, because dessert should be last, is buttermilk pie. And I'm not sure if y'all know what buttermilk pie is, but for us, it is definitely a staple menu item on our Thanksgiving table. And as I said, if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. It is amazing. There we go. Okay. So, as you can see, we've got that now all laid out. We're going to take our transfer tape. And, you know, you can make sure these are all lined up perfectly if you want to. For me, it's really not the end of the world if it's not. You know, I don't take all this stuff all that seriously. So we're going to cover it with our transfer tape. There we go. Hey, I see my hairs. You definitely can't miss my hair because it is so red. Whenever I get it stuck under the tape. Okay, so that's all on there. So now what we're going to do is remove the backing. 
which one of the things I like to do is kind of roll it. That helps make sure everything is down good. And I lifted up the edge of that T. So let's straighten that back out. There we go. So it happens when you rush. This is a fine font. So you gotta be a little bit more careful when you're working with something like this. So again, you see I'm just holding my finger and rolling it. So what do y'all have on your Thanksgiving table? These are some of the things we have. And I know other parts of the country probably don't call it sweet potato casserole. Sometimes it's called yams. I think it kind of depends on where you're from. Is there a difference in yams and sweet potatoes? I don't know. Okay, so I have to be careful when I take the rolls up because I accidentally have the paper. There we go of my coral over the top, so I want it to line up well. I can remove that tape now. There we go. And last but not least, definitely not least, not in our household, buttermilk pie or chest pie, some people like to call it, is definitely a favorite. And for bake sales in our family, or not in our family, but for our schools, that is something that is always, always requested. So now I'm gonna turn that so you can see it. Okay. Looks pretty good to me. And we're gonna squeegee it down. Look how cute. And I mean, look how easy that was. The longest part of this was weeding the vine, which to me is always one of the longest parts. Make sure it's all squeegeed down. But you could make these for your customers if you're looking for like a custom item to make. You could take their handwriting and vectorize it. I have videos on turning art like hand like pictures hand-drawn pictures which is the same thing as handwriting into SVGs if you're interested Okie dokie. Now all I gotta do is take and remove the little pieces of tape. If I can grab it. There we go. There we go. Look how cute that looks. Now if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, we'll go over everything we did. Absolutely adorable this came out isn't it precious I absolutely love this and you could use the colors of your house you can change it up you could easily paint this it just all kind of depends on what you're wanting to do I like using the vinyl I think it turned out adorable so remember if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below I post new Christmas videos Monday through Friday all the way up until Christmas Day but I guess that's it so we'll see y'all later Bye.